Linus Tech Tips coverage of PAX East 2014 is brought to you by Intel and Corsair. All right, guys, I'm here at the Indie Mega Booth with There Came an Echo. I, I've been hearing about this game ever since we landed, and <laughs> I, I've had to check it out. We've been busy, but we're finally here, and I got to play it myself, and it's, it's one hell of an experience, and they don't even have the voice actors in there yet. So what, what is this game? What can you tell me about this game? This is a voice-controlled, real-time strategy game. Uh, it's a little okay. complicated. Miranda Corn to Alpha 1. Grace to Delta 3 on my mark. Miranda, fire on my mark. Let's do it. Hit him! Grace, go! Will Wheaton and Ashley Birch star in the game, and you're controlling a squad uh, through various tactical scenarios with your voice. And you say things like all units to Alpha 1, uh, shields up, focus fire on target 2, tactical decisions like that. And it's a really narrative-based experience, and it's a lot of fun to control with your voice. So it sounds really, really cool when he talks about that, but some things that you guys might be worried about is like, oh, well, I don't really know military commands. I'm not going to remember to say uh, to Bra Bravo 2 or any of that kind of stuff. So what, you guys have something in place for that. Can you explain how that works? Yeah. So we have this system called command aliasing. Uh, I can tell you what the basic military commands are, but it's a little tough to remember all those. And even if you do, maybe it's not the way you want to command your guys. So we have this system where you can replace any existing command or character or location or anything in the game with whatever you want. If you don't want to call him Corrin, you can call him Benedict Cumberbatch. If you don't want the command to be fire, you can say mess those guys up. And this can be completely customized however you want. And it's one of those things that you kind of just, I understand that it, it's a little, you might be a little skeptical about voice commands. You might think, oh, that might not be very accurate or that's not very good. Um, you got to just try it. I mean, you just had a chance to give it a shot. It's, it's very, very accurate, and I want everyone to give it a shot. That said, um, we do also support controller, keyboard, and mouse commands as well. So however you want to play, it's cool with us. Yeah, like, like for instance, I aliased uh, Corin, one of the guys in the game, to Linus, so that I could use him as my suicide fighter because I don't care about Linus. He's not even here right now, so I can say that. If he was here right now, I would be in so much trouble. Oh. Anyways, um, like, wh what, what are some of the risks you see in coming to this? Because we come to the Indian Mega Booth and we see so much innovation, but you guys, guys like this, like, I'm excited to pick this game up. I'm going to pick this game up. But, uh, um, like, dropping budget on Will Wheaton and stuff like that, like, is a huge name. Are, are you worried about that at all? I mean, look, yes. That's, is, is that a huge risk? Yeah, yes, it is. I mean, is this whole game a huge risk? Yes, it is. There are not a lot of voice controlled games out there. But to me, it's like, I. I want to do something different. You know, I yes, it's. I had the. We did our first game sequence. It made a good bit of money, and I could have gone and maybe made a sequel to that, or I could have done a retro 2D platformer. I guess not that there's anything wrong with that. If anyone's watching and likes retro, but I wanted to try something really different. I wanted to try to create an emotional connection between the player and the characters in the game, and I think actually talking to them and having them talk back with some great voice actors is a really really cool way to do that. It's just more about what I really love and what I really wanted to see happen. And that's that's a perfect answer and exactly what I wanted to hear because that's what I love seeing in the Indie Mega Booth. And honestly, within the very short period of time I had to play it, it's it's you get a connection with it immediately. Like yeah. it's I, I cared more about those people because I wasn't just dragging dropping a mouse and throwing them into the battle. I actually had to tell him You're with his name go there, right. and if he dies from doing that, I'm going to feel bad. That's your fault, and more than that, they talk to you, they respond. If they don't hear you, they say, sir, repeat that. They banter amongst themselves, and they all have very unique, they're not just like, oorah, military soldiers, generic guys. They all have unique personalities, motivations, desires, and speech patterns. And of course, to that end, we have our crazy awesome cast, Will Wheaton, Ashley Birch, Laura Bailey, Yuri Lowenthal, Karen Strassman, Rachel Robinson, the list goes on. Uh, we're so excited to record, we record in July. Um, super psyched to work with those guys. That's going to be awesome. I'm super stoked for this game, and I will be picking this up myself. If you want to see all the rest of our Indie, our indie Mega Booth content and all the rest of our PAX East content, be sure to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. And as always, thanks for watching this video.